Hey, what is going on? I'm Ashton, and welcome to the pilot episode of the Typical Creative Podcast. You know, the term creative has been fenced in far too often, which, seriously, think about it, it might be one of the most ironic things of all time that we fenced in, we put in a box, this term creative, that means to, like, explore and find new, fresh ways. It just seems a little ironic to me. So the idea behind this podcast is to feature creative people of all kinds. And no, I'm not just talking about coffee addict photographers and hipster skinny jean musicians. I'm talking about business owners, teachers, pastors, loan officers, small business and e-commerce people. Seriously, let's talk to everybody and let's just pull creativity out of each of our stories and our lives. That's what this podcast is about. If you're watching on video, honestly, this is probably the only video podcast that I'll be doing for the season one. And so jump down in the description when, at the end of this, there'll probably be some links for Spotify and Apple podcasts where you can subscribe and follow. And speaking of subscribe and follow, let me give you a reason to consider doing that. Because seriously, I know I'm going to say that a lot, but we have enough notifications. So if this podcast isn't for you, don't do it. But if it is, or you want to give it a shot, hit that subscribe or follow button because it literally costs you nothing except saying, I don't want to listen to that and swiping the notification away. Um, But if you're kind of pushing your notifications down, then I get it. That's cool. Thanks for watching this episode. Okay. So a few years back, I realized that I uh, had labeled myself a air quotes, creative person. Yay. I'm so creative, but it just wasn't. It didn't feel right. I was trying to be creative by imitating people that I thought were creative or interesting. And it was funny because they really didn't have similar skill sets to me. And so I essentially was chasing my tail and spinning in circles. And when you spend much of your teens and 20s kind of not being yourself or rather trying to be someone else, it's uh, it's kind of exhausting and it doesn't work super great, which... I know I'm not alone in that search, so I feel safe sharing that. But, you know, yeah, that sucked. So anyways, I realized a few years back that I needed to kind of create a term to help me realize and remind myself the creativity that did live in me. And so I came up with this term called practical creative. And basically the idea for this was not all creativity is art. Not all creativity expresses itself within the box that we that I poked fun at earlier in this episode. But a lot of creativity shows up in being good at logistics, good at event planning. Maybe you're good with social conversations and developing networks. That's all creative stuff too. Maybe you have taught the squirrel in your front yard to trust you and come eat almonds out of your hand. Or maybe you realized that your communication style and expectation for how often you hang out with your friends when you got married is much different than your spouse. So those are all things we'll be talking about with different people on this podcast and I'm very excited about it. So I realized a few years back that I simply had to stop trying to be everybody else. Ouch. You just have to be the best you. And I think that's a really helpful thing to think about. So continue finding ways to make the world better that you live in. And uh, if I haven't already convinced you to subscribe or follow to this podcast, totally fine. I get it. Still love you. Hope to give you a high five at the coffee shop one day when this whole pandemic thing kind of settles down and we all get vaccinated and we're good to go. But here's the deal. In this podcast, you're going to hear awesome stories from all kinds of different people in the world. Probably people you love, people you never met that you'll learn to love, and maybe some other people that I won't describe. So hit that subscribe or follow button. Tune in next week and every week to discover all the crazy, in all the ways I mean that, all the crazy creative people around you. And hey, you may even realize how creative you are and didn't even know it. So until then, stay creative. I'll see you next week. Bye.